And this was the first building. And when I did the first building, Klein gave me a blank, blank check. I mean, from that, who was I? 15,000 rupees was the fees I got before I did Mamuti's house. When I did Mamuti's house, 1.75 lakhs was the fees in 1992-93. So, it is not the fees or anything. Mamuti, when he handed over the final check, he told me, you fully deserve, deserve this money. My dream was to become a photographer. When I finished plus two, I wanted to do cinematography. So I told my father that I want to do cinematography. I want to go to Pune Film Institute, plus two. My father said, cinema is a very tricky field. What is the guarantee that you will become successful in cinema? There are so many graduates who have passed out from Film Institute, but we hear about only few. So he said, if you have a degree, then I will not question you, you can do whatever you want. Then the question became, what degree will do? I was a brilliant student. So, I asked one of my cousins who was a professor of civil engineering, what is the difference between architecture and civil engineering? So he said, architects deals with the aesthetics of structures of buildings. Civil engineers deals with the strength aspects of buildings. So. I asked, how can you teach aesthetics? I still find it difficult. You can't teach aesthetics. It has to be learned through a Gurukula Sampradaya. You have to learn it from a master. You have to learn it from a mentor. You can't learn it in an architectural office or you can't do it. So, so I said, let me learn the technical aspects of buildings. So I joined civil engineering eight semesters, four semesters. I was a university rank holder. I either used to get first rank or second rank at the university. Four semester, I decided this is not my field because I had to learn about irrigation engineering, water resources, airport engineering, dock engineering. None of these things doesn't make any sense of what I want to do. I said I come to the wrong field. And in the fifth semester, and sixth semester, then I decided, I became a little bit like a dropout, managed to finish the engineering degree. And you will be surprised to know, out of the 55 papers I wrote in, in my civil engineering degree, the least marks I got was for architecture and town planning. And now I do projects of different scales. So I always wonder, how did I become like this without having a degree? Or what is the reason for becoming like this? So what I'm going to share is the questions which I had in my career. The questions which I asked myself at each stage of my life. And reaching to this stage. Great admiration for this Mrs. Indira Gandhi. She went to the Stockholm conference and told the people, all these countries are talking about pollution and controlling the pollution levels. And she said, India is a developing country. For us, poverty is the biggest. When people don't have enough to drink or enough to, uh, and there are not enough houses, we had to think about poverty. They are coming and telling us that we should reduce the carbon footprint. And uh, a country like Qatar produces carbon footprint. If you take it on a per capita, we produce 1.9. They produce somewhere more than 40 more than 20 times the carbon footprint that an average Indian produces is being produced by a small country like Qatar. All these Gulf countries are about 20. We are 1.9. And all the records say that global warming and climate change is a man-made problem. Out of the 700 crores of people living in the world, it is caused by 100 crores or 150 crores of people. The other 550 people, 550 crores, have no role in creating the global warming and climate change. What is happening now today? Afghanistan, 0.3. One sixth of that of India. Go to some of the African countries like Ethiopia, Niger, 
0.1.2. That's the per capita, one twentieth of the carbon footprint that India produces. And it will be one hundredth of the carbon footprint what US produces. So it's a problem which is created by few people. In 1970, all the Gulf countries decided and they formed the OPEC and everything, tried to control the prices. That is when the Gulf boom started. Gulf started to end the energy crisis because they decided, they knew that where they are sitting and they tried to control the price. If we look now, the India politics which happens is happening over oil or energy. Even if you trace to Ukrainian war, you will find that some of the best reserves are there in Ukraine, not in Russia. So the fight is over these things. So this I, I read about it in the 1970s. This is one of the photographs which I took, which came in one of the magazines. My photographs used to come in national newspapers. I went for an interview for doing my master's to British Council used to offer two scholarships at that time. 40 applications, 39 architects and one civil engineer applied for that post doing a master's in conservation. Their university had a flexibility that civil engineers can also apply. In India, master conservation courses, I've been a jury to many of the times in Delhi SP. I gave a lecture two weeks ago to Delhi SPA students. But the fact is that the university had a flexibility. And the first question they asked me was, do you know about a building which is being demolished in Kerala? which came in Illustrated Weekly at that time. I said, that photograph is taken by me. If you look at the credit of the photographs, it will say, Benny Kuryakos has taken the photograph. So the interview went my way. I was selected, 1986. I went to UK, did my master's. I was lucky to get the scholarship. And when I was doing my final year civil engineering, I was doing a field survey, I took the social uh, I was doing a biogas plan, how the night soil could be treated. Whatever you study, all those things, I was thinking in 1984 on how the, instead of septic tank, why can't we have a biogas plan in each house? Gas is a byproduct, bi biogas is a byproduct, and you can use the house as a, uh, use the gas for cooking or whatever you want to do. Treatment of the waste is the most important. This is my thesis. So I went around looking at some of the biogas plants in the city. When I went to one of the biogas plants, next door Baker was building a site. Baker had a site. I was lucky. Met him and he used to work. Yeah, I was put in one of the sites. So every Saturday he makes the payment. All the masons will give the head mason will give the list. So 200 rupees was paid to me which works out to 800 rupees, even now, an architect gets lesser than that of a mason. That time, slightly lesser, more or less in time, in more, more or less in tune with the mason, I used to get the price. And this is how I started. After nine months, I told daddy, I worked enough, you are paying me unnecessarily. I'm living in the same city, I'll come and meet you whenever I want to do. And that's how I started my career. Worked with him for nine months. Every day Baker will come to the site. I will wait for him to come. I will write down the questions which I have to ask that day to him. Sometimes he will answer patiently. This is the answers. The next day, sometimes he will be busy. He will not come some of the days. Some days he will say, Vinny, I have so many site visits, I'm busy. I will tell you tomorrow, ask the same questions. One of the problems with the present generation, they don't ask questions. I started learning by asking questions. I learned architecture by asking questions. It's not that Baker said, Benny, you come, I will teach you today. No. I asked him questions. He answered it patiently. He questioned the architecture which was present at that time. And he had a reason for it. He had a logic for it. I used to take all the buildings which I did in my initial stage to Lori Bay. So the learning process did not finish in nine months. I used to learn from him for many years to follow afterwards. I had a mission. I had a purpose. My purpose was to spread Lori Bay, that technology, to other parts of the state where it was concentrated in Trandrum City. So with a mission spirit, I did buildings all over. 
Kerala. This continued for a few years. I was the first person to join, first technically qualified person to join course for. First person, I was the technical head of Narmidi Gendras, Kerala State Narmidi Gendra, which is Apex body. Integrator Rural Technology Center, I did research on buildings. So I had taken these multiple roles in six or seven years, and that is what happened. This is the first building which I've designed. You can see all Lori Baker's influence, curved building, arch windows, exposed brookwork, filler slab. The beam in the front is Corbusier's. And it's there in some of Corbusier's building. I learned. I, I struggled. I worked hard. And that's how I learned about these things. This was the first building. And when I did the first building, Klein gave me a blank, blank check. You can write the amount and take it. The trust between the client and the architect or the designer is very, very, very important. If you don't have that trust, you will not be able to build it. Build it for the client. I developed that trust. I sleep, used to sleep in the veranda of the client. And they had a sofa come bed. In a, I mean, they did not have a proper living room. This is what I did for seven years, eight years. I was in various government committees. I, mean, I was doing projects all over Kerala. Traveling 28 days a month for 29 days a month. I was not married or anything at that time. So this is what happened. So I did projects all over. I mean, uh, positions and various things. Then people started criticizing. Not my work, but my position. They said, you are not an architect. I said, where did I say that I'm, a, I'm an architect? I still never say that I'm an architect. I'm telling you, for the last 38 years, I never say that I'm an architect. And uh, I decided to deviate. Deviate means I said, this is the end of my career. I went to my village, worked on furniture. And uh, because I was so disappointed with these criticisms. Now I am not bothered about criticisms. I'm not at all bothered. I know where I'm going, where I'm leading. Everything I know, I am not bothered. But there was a time when I was bothered. So I quit, more or less quit to architecture. Went to my village, looked after my agriculture farm and started furniture as a hobby, making furniture. So I had some carpenters coming to my house, which I continued for about 10 years. So 1992, I was in my village. One day, I get a call from actor Mamoti. He saw one of the buildings I've done for a film director called Shama Prasad, which I did in 88 or 89. 900 square feet extension. Extension means first floor. Ground floor was flat roof. I did a building on, on the first floor. I mean, he's a national award winning film director. So I just did, uh, did this building. So Mamoti heard about that building. For many people, it's very interesting, very, um, uh, this one, and uh, Mamuti goes, he says, come to Chennai, take the next flight and come. I have a dream project. I want to build my house. So I was getting in, I mean, it was the film was Johnny Walker. It was in, that's in, I mean, Santom Church, where the shooting happened. For, from the airport, I was picked up and taken. Then he takes me for lunch. I did not speak a word. I was so scared to speak a word. 1992, Mamuti was still the superstar. Number one star in Malayalam cinema, even in 1992. He said, I don't want to use marble. I don't want to use glass. Can you design a house for me? The plot is very narrow. Evening, he takes me for dinner to his house. Lunch we had at the shooting site itself. Evening, we go. So his wife was there. And this is the house which I've done. Exposed brickwork, I tried to bring in a little bit stone, but still arches. I did not use any filler slabs. I tried to consciously try to change it. And this is the entrance I use, I bought old timber. You can see the door is built with old doors. Try to work on that. Is uh, media room was panel with timber. So we used a lot of old timbers and Kerala carpenters and worked on those. 
and this article was covered in one of the magazines, Vanita, which is the, the, uh, the magazines where I was interviewed. So, I mean, from that, who was there? 15,000 rupees was the fees I've got before I did Mamuti's house. When I did Mamuti's house, 1.75 lakhs was the fees in 1992-93. So, it is not the fees or anything. Mamuti, when he handed over the final check, he told me, you fully deserve, deserve this money. I was in Kerala. I had not shifted to Chennai at that time. But still, but you can see vernacular architecture coming in. Last was the time when nobody used to talk about vernacular architecture. In 1996, we did a workshop in Dekshanu Chitra. We sent to all schools of architecture saying that any student can come and stay in Dekshanu Chitra because the quarters was ready and learn about Vanakla because we are putting up all these buildings, setting up all these buildings. 96, 96, end of the project was inaugurated. We got two applications. 1996, no interest in vernacular architecture, but free accommodation, free food. There were 100 people working there because when the inauguration happened in Dekshana Chitra, just before the entrance building was getting built, the Calicut house was coming up, the Agriharam house was coming up, Pudupulli house was coming up, all these buildings happened at that time. You can learn about, so like a jigsaw puzzle, but there was no interest among the students to learn about vernacular. Now if I do 200 people or 2,000 people will turn up. So that was the time which was there. So the Mamutis thing was that in 1996, 1995, I took over the Ekshana 1995 and 1995 to 2022, 27 years I'm doing this project. We have just decently dismantled a building in Cork and we are transplanting it to already transplanted, but we have to put it up. We are putting up a Muslim house from Kerala in one Constantly every year we put one building or two buildings, depending on the funds available. So this is the main entrance building. If you look at this, all the doors and windows, everything of the new building is buildings come in. I, one is that Alva Pet, one is in Tinagar. So all the buildings, I went and bought these old doors and windows. Nobody used to think in 96 about. These used to, materials used to go as scrap at one fourth of the price. Even now bulk of it is going as scrap. People don't use these materials. Very sustainable principle that one, one, one has to do. Columns were reused. 150 rupees, 250 rupees was the price. Now you won't get it even for 15,000 rupees or 25,000 rupees. We used to pick up, nobody wanted. Dekshana Jitra for me was a, is I temporarily shifted to Chennai, but then I decided to settle in Chennai. So I could do my buildings. I got my small commissions and everything, started working. Uh, slowly doing projects one after the other and built up my practice and uh, I mean this is another view of the this thing which has happened in 2002 there was a major change which happened again in turning point in my career is when I got the designer of the year award I was in Bombay on 26 to receive another award 90% of the awards I don't go. Some of the awards they say you have to pay for the flight ticket. I said no. I never paid for a flight ticket. Some of the awards you pay some money then we will do. 25,000 sponsor fees. The, award, the sanctity of the awards are gone and we are never apply for awards anymore. That decision we took more than 10 years ago. We will not apply for awards. But if somebody says they will pay the air ticket, they want to honor me, I will go. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> Your document goes up. <laughs> I'm a normal human being. I'm not God or uh, any any of the, any of these things which is uh, there. So I got this award, and then I decided I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I'm getting answers to the questions which I raised, and that is what I'm trying to share with you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.